to Dr. Spooky's Talent Show with our esteemed panel of judges, the Pitiless Minions. Next, Dr. Spooky will go behind that curtain and will come out transformed into someone completely different. Oh, it's Spider-Man. Well, something like Spider-Man. Look at those poses, such style. So tiring. Wow, the judges didn't give him a very good score. I told you they were pretty harsh. Let's see what it will be this time. The most feared cowboy in the West. Yeehaw! Lassoed one of the judges on the panel. We don't know if this will make his score go down. It seems like the trick didn't impress them at all. Back to the saddle, cowboy. Dr. Spooky looks for something to impress the judges with. But he didn't find anything. What? Three tens! The minions love him just the way he is. Let's collect the apple harvest. Everyone is helping. It's so fun. Aha, but of course the evil Dr. Spooky is spying on them and it seems like he's had an idea. Hmm, what's he thinking? Is that a spider? little spider. What are those drops? The spider is growing. Oh no, Dr. Spooky has created an evil gluttonous spider just like him. Back to the harvest. Why is it so windy all of a sudden? Dr. Spooky is here! He's releasing his minions! What is his plan? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was it. They're releasing dozens of gluttonous spiders into the orchard. <laughs> oh no! The spiders are going to eat all the apples. <laughs> Be careful, Kit. Oh! Monkey is really... 
really scared of the spiders. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come on, Granny. There must be something we can do. <laughs> Bad spider. <laughs> What's wrong, kid? <laughs> spider invasion. <laughs> Run! It's time to make a magic potion. Let's go, wise granny. Let's fix this problem. A little bit of essence of cilantro. A dash of thousand-year acorn. A squirt of sweet orange juice. And the secret ingredient, a huge dose of love. A few drops of potion and... The spider is good again. <laughs> oh, Dr. Spooky, you're so bad. <laughs> Don't send more minions. There's Granny. She put her potion into the tank. And everyone is going to collaborate so that the plan works. Hey. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yay. Give it some gas, Groovy. Oh, no. The tractor broke down. Come on, kids. We need to come up with another plan. The minions won't stop releasing spiders. To the lab. Super transformation. Super strength. Monkey did it! The spiders are becoming good again! <laughs> the harvest is back to normal! And the minions got what they deserved! See you for the next adventure! <laughs> Aha! Today is St. Valentine's Day. What a lovely day! Not for Dr. Spooky. No letters, no postcards, not a single thing to cheer him up. Poor doctor. What's going on over at the Super Zoo Team Sanctuary? <laughs> wow! Everyone's mailboxes are full! <laughs> oh no! Every time that Dr. Spooky thinks of something, it's an evil idea! Hmm, he's pointing at Cupid! He's up to something! Uh-oh, Dr. Spooky's going towards his lab! What a pretty heart. Love is so beautiful. So, Dr. Spooky, stop smashing it. Wow, he must really hate love. It's evil extract. And now what? He's multiplied the arrows. 
And he's called one of his minions. What is going on behind that curtain? Look what we have here. It's a Cupid minion with an amazing wig, I have to say. That was the plan, to shoot enemy-making arrows. Right. There goes the minion to disturb the peace of the sanctuary. He takes aim and... Bullseye! Now Monkey is mad and doesn't want to give the ball back to Caddy. Poor Caddy doesn't understand a thing. And now she's angry too. No, kids, don't fight. Dr. Spooky, that's so bad and evil, more than you think. And there he goes again. His new target is Kit. He looks really mad. Now it's Raccoon's turn. Furious Raccoon! What a crazy situation! And Dr. Spooky is really getting a kick out of it. He's so evil. Come here, Granny. You have to see this. Isn't this incredible? Careful, Granny. The minion is a good shot. She caught the arrow. Let's study it in the kitchen. Hmm. There are the evil particles. But with Granny's recipe, they're sure to disappear. A little bit of essence of cilantro. A dash of thousand-year-old acorn. A squirt of sweet orange juice. And the secret ingredient, a huge dose of love. It's stirred with the wand. And the only thing missing is a fairy costume. <laughs> Granny's magic makes them friends again. I love hugs. They're so nice. We're going to beat you, Dr. Spooky. Come on, Monkey and Caddy. You need to stop arguing. That's much better. That friendship can't be destroyed. Your magic is unbeatable, Granny. Super Zoo friends, the power and love are ours. What? There are still arrows left? Ha-ha! Uh -huh. <laughs> but Caddy blocks it. And now the minion tries to flee very quickly. But Granny reaches him with her love potion. Dr. Spooky, we have a surprise for you. Your minion couldn't resist. Super love attack. 
Let's go, Dr. Spooky. Give in to your loving minion. Hi, Caddy. Wow, let's not bother Caddy. She's doing her daily Tai Chi training. What's that red dot? I have no idea. But Caddy loves it. It's Dr. Spooky. And the red dot is nothing more than the light from his laser pointer. Careful, Caddy. It's all part of Dr. Spooky's plan. Oh, no! To the cat soaker! You're so evil, Dr. Spooky. What do you think, Granny? Aha! Let's see what your idea is. And on top of that, he's making fun of Caddy. We have to give him what he deserves. Dr. Spooky is fleeing towards his ship. But what? Granny? Ha ha ha! What a great plan! Bad deeds have their consequences, Dr. Spooky. You'll think twice next time. Or maybe not. What? Five to nine? Kit starts school at nine. Oh gosh, he's going to be late. There's no time to lose. Let's go, Kit. Get your backpack and your books. There's the bus. Faster, Kit. Nice flight. Ouch! Get up, Kit. No, the bus left. Aha! Granny always has the answer. Let's go, Kit. We have to catch the bus. Hey, Mr. Driver, stop the bus! Hey, it's Monkey and Raccoon! Guys, stop the bus! Finally! Kit will make it to school on time. Um, are you sure it's this way, kids? Uh-oh, we've entered evil Dr. Spooky's compound. I told you, there's that scoundrel. And he's thrown some spikes onto the road. One of the tires blew out. Oh, and where are we now? We need a stroke of good luck. And that stroke's name is Patty. <laughs> Express Roadside Assistance Service. Let's keep going. We're almost to the school. <laughs> Run, Kit. Oh, no. He didn't get there on time. What? Of course! It was all a dream! It's 7.15, there's still plenty of time before the school opens. What a relief, Kit! What a beautiful day! The flowers are happily soaking up the sun, and some beautiful butterflies land on top of them. What? Wait a second! Why is everything turning gray all of a sudden? Where is all this smoke coming from? Ah! Look up, butterfly! Everything is polluted! There are our friends from the Super Zoo team. Aha, just as I suspected, this is the work of the evil Dr. Spooky. There's that villain. Let's go, 
to the laboratory. We have to find a solution. Kit, let's see what your supercomputer says. Hmm, I think I know where you're going with this. We have to plug the ship's exhaust pipe. Aha, and that way the cloud of smoke will disappear. What a great plan. To the transformation capsules. Wait a minute, you have to be protected. With this bubble, the pollution can't hurt you. Now we're ready, Super Zoo Team! Aha, there's Dr. Spooky's ship. And he even has popcorn to watch his horrible show. Get him! <laughs> Oh no, Dr. Spooky is releasing his minions. What's the plan now, Caddy? Throw the pieces of wood at the minions. What a good idea. Yes, we did it. Don't forget the plan. We have to plug the exhaust pipe with one of the pieces of wood. <laughs> Perfect. Monkey throws Caddy towards Dr. Spooky's ship. And Caddy lands after doing a perfect flip just above the exhaust pipe. Done. Haha, <laughs> 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 Dr. Spooky, the tables have turned against you. Bye-bye, you evil man. <laughs> but there's still one thing left to do. Let's go, Granny. Do your magic. <laughs> <laughs> Granny's magic bubbles get rid of the pollution. How delightful and all of nature goes back to being full of life, like it should be. <laughs> Blow a giant bubble, monkey. See you next time, Dr. Spooky.